Jack, the only solution to all these problems is to kill all the Jews. Kill all the Jews and overnight, these things will change. I know you'll never make that suggestion, but it's the only solution. The protocols have come to fruition. Just tell the people to kill the Jews, and our problems will be solved. You Jack could become a Murano, and lie like a bastard. I got this email last week from my friend in response to my previous video. As economic and political conditions worsen, resentment against Jews will grow. J.B. Campbell proclaimed this, in Jewish Rule, posted on Rents.com. There is coming a time soon, in which we shall have to fight Jews because they are Jews, and because we are not, they will leave us with no other choice, just as they left the Russians and the Palestinians and the Hungarians and also the Lebanese, with no other choice, but fight or die a nasty death, after captivity and thirst and starvation and torture. John Kaminsky writes, the Illuminati is wholly Jewish, started by a Jew turned Catholic, operated by the Jews who control the money. Now used as a convenient myth by Jewish writers, to say, the problem is not really Jewish. Kaminsky is referring to me. He has called me a Zionist mole. The satanic Jewish cult, the Sabbatians, might be at the heart of the problem, but it has gone way beyond them, to embrace the occult world in general. The epithet Illuminati mole could be hurled back. People like Kaminsky unwittingly serve the Illuminati agenda by making ordinary Jews the scapegoat. They divert attention from the real source of the problem. As we shall see, the Illuminati is not wholly Jewish by a long shot. Kill every Jew and the problem would remain. Of course this does not absolve of guilt Jewish Illuminati and their many Jewish dupes or agents for example, Zionists, Communists, Feminists, Liberals, Socialists, Neocons etc. Nor does it absolve those Jews who refuse to disassociate from organized Jewry. I refer Kaminsky and his ilk to Fritz Springmeier, an unsung hero of humanity, who has debriefed dozens of Illuminati defectors. The pioneer authority on the Illuminati, he says the problem is a lot bigger than the Jews. It is anti-religious, as in satanic, not racial. To call the conspiracy Jewish is misleading. The father of it all, is Satan. It is satanic and it will use anyone it can. Before I continue the video, please smash that like button for me. Thank you. Humanity owes a debt of gratitude to Fritz Springmeier for exposing the Illuminati and its methods in a half dozen major works. His definitive works are, Be Wise as Serpents, 1991, and Bloodlines of the Illuminati, 1999. At the back, he lists hundreds of names of members of the Illuminati organizations like the Pilgrim Society, Bohemia Grove and the Skull and Bones and related fraternities. The names reflect the American establishment yesterday and today. They are not exclusively Jewish. I'll just list a few, Astor, Ball, Bennett, Bundy, Grace, Hammer, Kennedy, Brady, Atchison, Rockefeller, Dulles, Bedell Smith, Carnegie, Coles, DuPont, Harriman, Schiff, Rusa, Brzezinski, Kissinger, Forbes, Donovan, Javits, Mellon, Turner, Coffin, Hines, McLeish, Stanley, Pinchot, Whitney, Walker, Stedman, Taft, etc. A similar membership analysis could be made of other Illuminati fronts, such as, the Bilderbergers, the Council on Foreign Relations, the Trilateral Commission and the Club of Rome. Yes it is probable, that Jewish Sabbatians like the Rothschilds are the mainspring behind the Illuminati, but there is no shortage of non-Jews who want a piece of the satanic action. Did you know Doonesbury's Gary Trudeau is skull and bones? Ned Lamont, who tried to upset Joe Lieberman, is the great-grandson of Thomas Lamont, the chairman of J.P. Morgan, who financed the American communists. These guys pretend to oppose each other. We get to choose which Satanist we want. It's frustrating that people like Kaminsky can only see the Jews, and never the non-Jews. Then they blame all Jews regardless of their guilt, and let all the guilty non-Jews off the hook. They seem to need a simple black and white solution to the world's problems. They can't face the treason of their own ethnic, national and religious leaders. Easier to despise ordinary Jews than confront the powerful rich. For exposing the Illuminati, Fritz Springmeier was framed for a 1997 bank robbery and sentenced to nine years in jail in 2003. They tried to make Springmeier out to be a Ted Kaczynski Unabomber. Let's read together excerpts from this interview with Springmeier to see how intelligent he is and how evil they are. Who are the Illuminati? The Illuminati are the movers and shakers of the world. They are an elite group of bloodlines, I call these tribes or families, there are 13 major bloodlines. They are what are called, generational Satanists. That means that they have practiced their secret witchcraft for many centuries, and they have passed their religion down from one generation to the next. They lead double lives. They have one life that the world sees, and then they have a hidden life that the world doesn't see. 
There have been very few people that have been able to break through the secrecy. The top 13 bloodlines are the Astor, Bundy, Collins, DuPont, Freeman, Kennedy, Lee, Onassis, Rockefellers, Rothschild, Reynolds, Krupp, Russell, then there is a 13th bloodline, which is the Merovingian bloodline. I just simple call it the 13th, and then there is the Van Dyne Illuminati bloodline. The 13th bloodline, the Merovingian, is extremely important. It includes the royal families of Europe. What is their goal? Ultimately, their goal is to bring in what people have termed the New World Order, with a man who will hold the world's attention and carry the title, the Antichrist. That's the ultimate goal, and I am not trying to wax religious on people, but that's just the simple fact. When you get into deprogramming people, you will see that a lot of the things they have been programmed to do, tie in with a very sophisticated plan to unify the world under the reign of the Antichrist. Princeton historian, James Billington, Fire in the Minds of Men, traces how all the revolutions were started by this occult elite. The term revolution came from the occult idea that we were going to revolve ourselves back to the golden age. There is this great quest for the golden age, this millennialism. That's what communism is about. If you look at the early founders of communism, they were trying to revolve us back through revolution to the golden age that had been lost. It's always for a socialistic communistic type utopia, a cross between 1984 and Animal Farm. Why do they use trauma-based mind control on their own family members? It's really essential. If you are going to participate in the Illuminati secret life, being a programmed multiple personality is basic. There are a few in the Illuminati who aren't programmed multiples. You've got a number of standard rituals involved, Saint Weinmold, Saint Agnes, Grand Climax, Walpurgis, Beltane, all your solstices and equinoxes, Lamas, All Hallows Eve, High Grand Climax, all of these standard rituals. These rituals are very horrific. They involved human sacrifice. Sacrifices of babies on the High Grand Climax. On various abbots, you've got a young female or a male being sacrificed. This is not something that the normal mind is going to be able to handle. The mind control and the creation of multiple personalities where you get a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde effect is very crucial to this thing continuing from generation to generation. They would be trained in alchemy, in Indian sorcery, Druidism, Inachian magic, Gnosticism, Hermetic magic, Kabbalism, Plato, Sufism, they will know all the different branches of occult systems. What is the function of trauma? The Illuminati take a small child about two years old, and they begin traumatizing it with the worst traumas that are imaginable, so that they can create these amnesia walls. They find these dissociated pieces of the mind that are just like floppy disks, often they put in their programming to the dissociated parts of the mind, as to what they want that part to become. Elsewhere he says mind control was behind Joseph Mengele's experiments, that Mengele was Illuminati and continued his work in the US after the war. The Illuminati can take a particular child and manipulate things from behind the scenes and open all the right doors for this person, and they can get them the grants and the schooling and everything they need, and adding impetus to this person's career is the mind control that is steering them in that direction too. The end product is, you end up with somebody who is an engineer or a lawyer or a politician, who is very highly qualified for what they are doing. Barack Obama fits this description. A very conservative estimate, I shouldn't even say estimate because I have computed it from about seven different angles, a conservative figure is two million Americans have been programmed with trauma-based total mind control. The ultimate goal. The whole long-range goal of this, and when I say long-range, it's not going to take them long to get us there at the rate they are going, the end goal of all of this is, to eventually create an entire earth of mind-controlled slaves that can be controlled by one supercomputer. They are manipulating our thoughts and our attitudes, and steering us, hurting us, they consider us animals, the Illuminati consider themselves God, God-men, and us to be the animals, they are hurting us in the direction they want to us to go. Let's not fall into the Illuminati's divide and conquer trap. Springmeyer says this is a war against evil, not race. He says that, as a virtuoso with an old violin, a master's hand can turn anyone into a beautiful thing. He says that many members of Illuminati families have found Christ and broken free. Similarly many Illuminati dupes, whether Jewish or not, can be reached by a message of truth and love. We can all be deprogrammed. I'm sorry that the video illustration is far from good, but I'm trying my best to make this video useful for everyone. I've put up all of my time and energy for this channel every day. I hope you enjoy it. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. 
this everything inside me channel see you on the next video stay safe and healthy